Welcome back. Throughout this series, we have gained a solid understanding of some of the fundamental concepts in React Native. We have covered code components, creating custom components, styling elements, crafting layouts, and even designing responsive styles based on device dimensions. In this sixth section of the course, we will put all this knowledge into practice by building a list of Pokemon cards in our application. Here is what we are aiming to create. A scrollable view displaying four Pokemon cards. Each card has text content, an image, and styling. It is a great exercise to apply what you have learned so far. Let's dive into VS Code and begin. For this section, I have set up a new project called Exercise 1. Please feel free to choose any project name you prefer. To create a new React Native Expo project, use the command npx create hyphen expo hyphen app followed by your project name. Once you have your project set up, let's proceed to build the UI step by step. Step one, in app.js, remove the import for status bar and the text component. Also, remove the two corresponding components from the JSX. As for the styles, keep flex as it is and change the background color to F5 F5, F5. You'll also want to remove the align items and justify content properties. With these changes in place, if you take a look at our devices, we will see a gray colored view. Step two, copy and paste a few images into the assets folder. These images will represent the four Pokemon cards. You can find these images in my GitHub repository, so please pause the video to download them. Step three, let's create a new folder called components. So within our project folder, components. Inside this folder, create a new file named pokemoncard.js. Within this file, define a simple React Native component. Import view and text components from React Native and export default a function called Pokemon card. For the JSX, we're going to render a view which contains a text Pokemon card. Step four, import this component in app.js. Import Pokemon card from dot slash components slash Pokemon card. Invoke this component within the JSX. If we save the file and take a look at the devices, you should see the text Pokemon card being rendered. But the placement, of course, isn't great. So for step five, replace the view component import with safe area view and do the same in the JSX as well. If we now save the file, the component is placed in a much better position on iPhone. Safe area view does not affect Android, so let's add some top padding specific to Android devices. Import platform module from React Native and then on the container styles, Padding top if platform dot operating system is equal to Android is going to be 25 pixels else zero. If we now take a look at pixel four, you can see it is slightly away from the status bar as well. You can of course tweak the spacing if you feel this is too much. Now let me tell you there is a better way to write this top padding logic using an expo library. But for now, we will focus on just React Native and deal with Expo packages later in the series. All right, we have made significant progress, so let's conclude part one here. Make sure your code matches mine before moving forward. I'll see you in part two.